Well, good morning. It's the 22nd of December 2022. Uh, this morning we're running about, right, well, we're running at set point again, uh, or still. Uh, we're looking at about four and a half inches, maybe, maybe five uh, snow later today, uh, the, the late, this, late this evening, started about 4.30, 5 o'clock, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, then it's going to change over the night, it's going to change to rain. Uh, it'll rain most of the day tomorrow, so it's, it's going to be kind of strange. Uh, but by noon, the temperature is supposed to plummet, so <laughs> it's going to be weird. Uh, we are, we are looking at, uh, uh, right now we're putting out 501 kilowatts. Uh, everybody's been fed, the chickens are out, everybody's happy. Uh, just finishing up my coffee. Uh, yesterday I did some prep work on uh, moving some snow, got some stuff around. Uh, I didn't film any of that. I did my, uh, I did my, finished my job up. Uh, with uh, with the generator and installing the uh, the car charger, then uh, that went off without a hitch. Uh, I did uh, uh, dismiss a customer yesterday, so uh, it was a, it was not a it was not a pretty sight, but he was didn't want to pay for. For uh, for my help, so uh, for my helpers, he thought it was, he thought that they, they they just stood around and, and but you know and they were they, it is true, uh, but they were actually learning. So uh, when you hire a company to do a job, the company's going to do the job, and sometimes they'll have an apprentice there to learn the learn the job. The apprentice isn't going to do stupid stuff. He's going to stand there and learn. And here, here, this is your job. You watch. This is why we're doing this. And anyways, uh, save his time anyways. And uh, the guy doesn't like to pay. Enough said. Um, so anyhow, uh, we're moving on from there. Today I've got a... Uh, uh, shower head holder bar to go in uh, got to do that this morning then I got to go look at a, uh, a frozen discharge line on a sump pump and try to figure something out there I don't know what we're gonna figure out there but we got to figure something uh, probably just take a piece of pipe with me uh, and figure out how to discharge it out that way the, the, the issue is that it's not really the correct way that it's supposed to be done, and, and I don't know if I can fix it that way. I, uh, the issue is a, it, it, it's a whole, it, whole bunch of issues that, that are developing, and it, it's just going to happen until it gets fixed. So uh, we'll try to help the girl out to see what we can do. Uh, later this evening, we're going to run down and pick up uh, my grandson Michael at, at his house uh, down in Northville. Actually, he's in Bachelorville uh, by the Saginaga Reservoir, Saginaga Lake, they call it. Uh, so we're going to do that. That's uh, we're going to do that about four o'clock. After uh, he lives down below with some friends down there and goes to school in Northville. Uh, so. And he likes it. He does well. Uh, and, uh, see, he's had he's had some some difficulty in school, and and uh, uh, he really clicked into the school. And we don't want to screw that up, so he stays there. Um, <laughs> and he's he's uh, 19, so let's let him finish up school and where he wants to go and do the things he wants to do. Doesn't matter to me. I'm just gonna go down, and pick him up, bring him up for Christmas. Saturday morning we got a, uh, or Saturday at noon we have a the the, the whole fam family gets together and uh, uh, we're gonna go to 
my nephews and, and uh, hang out there. Uh, shot of the river this morning. You see, we're, we're down where we were, where, where we should be. I'd walk out there, but that snow's deep and it's cold out here. It's, it's about nine degrees right now. You see, I moved the tractor out here. Hey, I ran it yesterday. Seemed to run okay. Seems to do everything it was supposed to do. Uh, cleaned up a little more up the hill. Uh, took it up and uh, cleaned out some ditches because of, with the rain, I want the water to run off. I probably need to do a tie down on the uh, <laughs> roof. This morning, I was the, uh, the chicken coop. So it doesn't blow off, but you can see we're got uh, the water is is slowly flowing down the stream, not like it was swinging around this way. You can see the frazzle ice. Now the frazzle, the frazzle ice gets formed when it hits, when it's coming over this little bit of water, waterfall, this rapids right through here. It's hitting that, it's churning up. The water temperature is actually below freezing. It's incorporating air and it's making a very light uh, ice. And then it will, it will get together and clump. Uh, the problem with frazzle ice is when you're running it in a uh, into the intake <laughs> with the steel racks that for the trash racks, uh, they hit that trash rack and instantly freeze to it. Good morning. Chickens are out. They're happy. Uh, they've been the pr egg production has come up a little bit, uh, which makes me happy. They like the windbreak, I think, is what they like. I could see spots on the uh, on the snow where where we've had drips from the hydraulics. Uh, there's not a whole lot I can do about it at this point. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna order the part until after the first year, and then I'll order that. Uh, I gotta get some some wire ordered uh, for the first week of, of December, or first, first week of, uh, the, of the new year, uh, we're gonna put in a uh, hook up a generator for uh, one of the construction companies. They, it's their customer, they bought the, the generator uh, they, and they just contracting me to put it in, which I don't mind doing. Uh, this is the same company that comes down here and plows when I need them to. So when uh, when when Don says, "Hey, I need a, I need a favor. Can you absolutely whatever you want me to do?" Uh, customers are going to pay them pay the pay the bill. So, but Don might. I don't know. I don't know how he wants to do it. I'm going to give him the invoice. He can he can figure out how he wants to pay for it. He'll tell me how to how to write it up and who to write it for, but uh, and he has to do that. He has to be careful because I'm not. I don't carry workers' compensation on me, uh, and so therefore I I'm not required by law to have to have workers' comp because you can never be sole proprietor can never can never uh, you can never never collect. Uh, I am permitted to hire family uh, and, and as day labor. And uh, so uh, that's what I do. I have, I have, when Lee goes with me, it's, he's a day laborer. That's all he's going to do. And, uh, you know, we would pay his medical bill if something happened anyways, but he just runs back and forth. Uh... So therefore, under his workers' compensation, he's not allowed to hire people without workers' compensation, which is absolutely stupid. Uh, another another uh, catch-all 
uh, another catch-all rule that uh, the state comes up with uh, to, to make sure you're paying them money. Uh, I don't believe that we should be paying them, uh, you know. I believe it's up to it's up to the individual whether they want to have that. If you have employees, I understand 100% why you would want to have that. But uh, I think it's basically uh, <laughs> extortion, <laughs> to, to find a better word, uh, because you don't need you you know you're gonna you're just trying to make a living. Uh, we had it uh, at one point in time. We did, we did buy it in 2010, maybe 2009. Anyways, 9 or 10, in there somewhere. We had it. It was $13,000 a year then. And that was to give us the privilege to work for some of these companies that, that had workers' compensation. Uh, it wasn't worth it. Uh, we didn't make $13,000 doing, doing, working for other companies. So I said, that's it, the end of that. We're not going to do that ever again. We can turn that work down and come out ahead. That's what we do. A lot of, a lot of people think I'm crazy because I, I don't do that. But, uh, you know, I just don't want to do that. I do not, also do not work for, uh, let me put my earmuffs on. I do not work for, uh, Uh, for new home construction because it's me I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that I cannot there you go I, I cannot uh, do enough work fast enough by, by, by one guy to to a to plumb a house in the time that they need it done or they want it done it's just not gonna happen there's two there's just me uh, it's difficult enough to do a do uh, repairs by yourself. You have to hold this pipe up, that pipe up. It's not going to do that. Where do you go? We're still running really well with our with our pressures. Give you a look downstream here. I 
engine's coming out of the small one. So that, uh, you know, that gives you an idea that, of why I want to run the big unit most of the winter. <laughs> it puts out some good heat. Uh, we keep, I keep the office about 70 because uh, there's just no reason, you know, it should be any, any colder than that, or any warmer than that, but, you know, it's, it's free energy and I could make it 80 degrees if I wanted to, but I will sit in here at 80 degrees. So anyways, I think uh, I'm going to get some, some rope and uh, strap, and, uh, strap that uh, uh, roof down a little bit. Before the uh, before the winds hit the high winds tonight, so I'm gonna get that taken care of before that happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump off here, kind of short this morning, but uh, you get the gist. You guys have a great day. Hopefully you're warm. Stay warm. Uh, and uh, for the you that you that uh, aren't gonna be around the next couple of days, you guys have a merry Christmas.